Hello everyone, I am Nehal from WSCube Tech and in this video we are going to talk about testing and training data set and we'll just understand the process for splitting a data set into train data and test data practical. So let's get started. So say you have this term insurance data set and it just simply says that as the age of a person increases, the premium too increases because with increase in age rises the risk factors too. So we know that in order to just train our module, we require data. So we can either just train our module by using this entire data set, or we can just use some part of our data to train our module. Now say, if you just train your module by using this entire data set, and during the test phase, you just provide the samples from the same data set, so what's the point in that? because your model will definitely give high accuracy in that case. Now, hence, it's not a good practice to train your model by using this entire data set over here. Also say, if you have given training to our machine learning model by a data set, and we just test it by a completely different data set over here, then it might just create difficulties for our model to understand the correlation between the models. And therefore, it's quite necessary that we just split our data set into the training and test data set over here. Now, in order to just split our data set into the training data and test data, we need to divide our complete data set in some ratio. See, if I am just considering the ratio over here as 80-20, so here 80% would be my training data and the remaining 20% would be my testing data. And this testing data would be such that it will just act as a new data for our module to test since our module has not seen this data. So as you can just see over here, we are having this five records over here. So 80% of five is what? So 80% of five is four. So four records we will be used in order to just train our model. And remaining 20%, that is 20 of five is what? It is one. So we'll use this one, uh, this 20% in order to just test our model. So let's just see these things practically over here. So if I just show you my data set over here, so this is my CSV file over here and I'm having this records inside my this thing. Okay, fine. So what I will simply do is, I'm just going to jump over my Jupyter notebook over here. And over here, what I'm simply going to do is, I'm just going to say import pandas and I'm just give the allies name as P. Okay. And we have that uh, insurance.csv file at our desktop over here. So I need to just import it over here. So I'm just going to make use of this pandas library over here. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm just going to say pd and I will just say dot read csv. So here it comes read csv. And over here, I need to just uh, provide here the path over here. Now, how, how I'm just going to provide the path over here, I'm simply going to right click on this go into the my properties over here and i'm simply going to copy this part over here. okay uh, i'll just come up over here and paste this thing and give it a slash over here and i need to just copy this name of the file also that's it. and uh, i'll just put this r over here okay so it will just consider this thing that this is a particular path fine and this would be my data frame over here and i will just run this thing and in order to just view that data set over here, I am simply uh, doing here, my, this is my object over here, that is the variable name in which I'm just storing this thing. So I've come up with this data. So this is my data over here. Now, the first thing over here is that what I need to do is I need to just separate my independent variable and the dependent variable. That is the independent variable is my age over here that, that I will just store it in my X over here. And I will just uh, store my dependent variable that is my premium in my y variable over here. Now, in order to do uh, do that thing, what I'm simply going to do is I'm just going to say x is equal to and df of h. And similarly, for my premium, I'm just going to store it in my y variable. I'm just going to say this is my premium. Okay. And if I just have a look over my x and y over here so you can just see this thing so the first step is uh done over here that i have just separated out my independent variable and dependent variable over here now the next thing that i just want to do over here is that i need to just split my data set now in order to just split your data set we make use of this escalon model okay and inside this we have one method by the name that 
train underscore test underscore split. And I'm just going to import this sklearn, okay, from sklearn dot model selection import. And I have this train test and split map, okay. So I need to just import this uh, this library, okay. And this is having this train test split method, which I'm just going to use in order to just split my data over here. So in this uh, uh, train underscore test underscore split, okay, uh, is used to just split your data set. And here we need to just pass our uh, X and Y over here. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm just going to say uh, train underscore test underscore split. And inside this, I will just pass my independent and dependent variable. And over here, I need to just pass here this test size over here. So as I'm just uh, uh, dividing my data set in the ratio of 80, 20, okay, so that ratio we need to pass here. So it says that test size, okay, the trait, uh, the test, uh, the how many percent uh, ratio you're just going to use in order to just test. So I'm just going to make use of this 20 percent of my data. So in order to just uh, write that thing, I have, we need to write it this way, that is 0 0.2. Okay, and I will just store this inside a variable name. So after you just execute this uh, statement over here, you are going to get four values from this thing. So what you're just going to get, you're going to get this X train, then you're going to get this X test, then Y train and Y test. So these are all the values you're going to get. So I'm just going to run this thing. And what I will simply do over here is that I will just show you guys. So let's check each of this one by one so say this x train over here so you can see over here i am getting this many of records over here so as i said that my ratio is 80 20 okay so over here you are seeing that i'm getting this four records over here similarly if i just want to see my testing over here okay that is x uh, test so you can see i'm getting this uh, single record over here Okay, as I just uh, told you guys uh, in the theoretical part that I'm just splitting my data set into 80 20. So you, you can see this uh, this many of records are considered in 80%, whereas this many of records are considered in 20%. Because I just said that 80% of your records that is 5 and 20% of your records over here. Okay, fine. So similarly, I'm getting this thing. Similarly, you can just check for this uh, value itself. So I'm just going to say, Y train, okay. So you are seeing this. This is our uh, dependent variable, and uh, similarly, you can just check this Y test. That's it, okay. And uh, moreover to this, you can even uh, check for your uh, this um, length of this thing, okay. So it is just going to give that thing. So if I just want to uh, check the length over here, so you can just say pass this. X train inside this length, and you can see that we are getting this four records over here. And for this purpose, you will get this one record over here. So you can just check it this way also. So this is how you can just uh, we have uh, just splitted our data set over here, and depending upon this uh, twenty percent uh, of test size over here. Similarly, you can just change up the size over here. Suppose that now I just want to do it, uh, say. 70 30 okay so i'm just giving here a uh, three over here now i need to run this thing over here now you can see that uh this thing okay so the length of your x train over here is become now three over here and your y uh, x uh, uh, underscore test has become here two over here so depending upon your need you can just uh change up this uh, ratio over here and similarly if i just remove this thing as for now so you can just view this thing this way. All right. So you can see that now I'm just splitting my data set into this 70-30 uh, ratio over here. So you're getting this X train as you're getting the three samples. And with respect to this X test over here, you're getting this two samples over here. So we have just successfully just Splitted our data set using this sklearn and this train uh, underscore test underscore split method. And now this data is all ready for our further step. That is, we are just going to put up this data into some algorithm that we are just going to explore 
in our uh, upcoming videos over here so that's all in today's video so i hope that you have got a uh, idea about like how uh, we need to just uh, split our data set over here and what is the requirement for this purpose so i hope that you are just clear with this concept so if you just like this video so hit the like button share it with your friend and do subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video